other performers, perhaps because if they have trouble with their instruments, they can't just go out and buy new ones. More musicians should follow that lead. Too often, they learn the hard way. My hands were so painful. I, I used to wake up in the morning with, they'd be all gnarled and uh, they'd be like claws. I wouldn't even be able to open them. I'd have to sort of grab it and bend them down and scream at the same time. Max Weinberg bangs out rhythms behind the boss. He's the drummer in Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band, has been for 13 years. He started pounding the drums when he was five. I've always played hard. Yeah, that to me was a, the way I played rock and roll. Uh, actually, the, as, as amplifiers got bigger and guitarists got louder, I started to play harder <laughs> to compete with that sound. You know, if you're a drummer, you really you have to get used to the aches and pains of drumming. I mean, you're always hitting yourself and your hands hurt and you get blisters and calluses and you cut your fingers, so I didn't really think too much about it. The blisters and calluses came and went, but Weinberg kept playing until finally his hands couldn't take it anymore. It was 1984. The band had just recorded Born in the USA. At times, the pain was excruciating. Uh, hurts to think about it. When I became aware of how serious, in fact, it was, then I was terrified of it. One doctor in particular said that uh, if he was me, he'd look around for, <coughs> excuse me, a different career. <laughs> uh, I wasn't buying that. Giving up the drums was out of the question. For Max, it'd be like giving up food or sleep. Fortunately for rock and roll fans, he got a second opinion. At a performing arts clinic, surgeon Richard Eaton operated on Weinberg's hands three times, each operation restoring flexibility to different fingers. The boss toured the U.S. that year, and the drummer didn't miss a beat. Weinberg still plays hard, but now he plays smart, too. Preventive maintenance, so to speak, is really the key. You know, now I'm very, very careful to warm up before I play, to cool down with ice after I play, and uh, to recognize the fact that I am an athlete.